Morning, folks. I know what you're thinking. Those of you that know where I'm at, probably not one of my brighter ideas, but I always wanted to do it, so we're gonna try it. Susquehanna River's at a very high stage. So. We're gonna see if we can't go out here and catch a couple fish. We got the ever famous. Brought a real life jacket for this one. Run. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> Tom Mills. We're gonna put in here and see what happens. The river crested about three days ago. So it's on its way down. I mean, normally you obviously would not wanna put one of these boats in at this boat ramp but I've been here once or twice and I kind of have an idea where some of the rocks are at I just uh, I put a custom exhaust on that motor we're gonna see how she sounds you just did something different yeah different exhaust custom I brought you a bottle of water in case you need it. Thanks. So yeah, we're gonna go out here and see what happens. Ripping the Phoenix and Jeppo territory. Plug in. Remember that plug's way under that thing. Yeah. Oh, get a little sun coming out. Here. Sounds like it's going. That's a good sign. Kinda, yeah, I guess just kind of pan it around and film and whatever yeah. happens, happens. Starts getting too out of control. Yeah, you watch for logs.
this video is just going to end up being a boat run. Tom and I did do some fishing. We ran the normal high water pattern. We caught about 10 fish. We were out for three, maybe four hours. You know, two and a half, three pound fish. Everybody knows what they look like from the Susquehanna. We didn't get anything. No trophies, but we did have a lot of fun. To anybody that isn't familiar with this stretch of water, you might not fully appreciate what we're doing. This is really a shallow, rocky river. You know, jet boat or airboat only, kayak. You know, those are the kinds of boats that would normally, that's what you would normally see out here. But as I mentioned earlier, there was a significant amount of snow that we got about a week ago and then we got about two or three inches of rain and the river went close to full out flood stage and we went out a few days afterwards after the crest after most of the debris had cleared out of the river we eyed everything up before we went out and we felt pretty good about the situation i hope you guys do enjoy this
We made it. Man, it's gonna be hard coming out here and going slow in a jet again. <laughs> I wish I had this hey, kind of... I want some credit because my freaking fingers are frozen from are holding they? that camera. You did good. At 70 miles an hour or whatever did, the hell we were doing. You did good sport, Cole. I'm proud of you. <laughs> we were only doing like 40. Oh, whatever. It was cold. A little chilly. All right, bring her in. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go in here and uh, try and get her back on the trailer. So far, pretty successful trip. The fact that we got here is a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we got here in like five minutes. I know. All right. All right. Back safe and sound. I call it a good day. Now, some of you guys I know are probably going to watch us and think that it's safe and all right to just take a glass boat out on the Susquehanna, north of Harrisburg. I'm telling you, it's probably not a great idea. If I wasn't familiar, basically, I ran the same lines that I would run with my jet boat. I ran the same exact lines. I know where those big rocks and stuff are at. The river's up about 10 feet higher. Uh, it's up about right now it's up about 10 feet from where it was at a week ago so most of the stuff out there has got water rolling over it it's not really a big deal but if i didn't know where i was going there still are some areas where you could definitely get yourself into some trouble and crank a rock and lose lose your lower unit and you know i knew that was a risk even with us today but not i know where those rocks are at you spend years guiding out there every day and Nothing Pretty nothing much. Game. Yeah, <laughs> you learn that thing like the back of your hand. So it was a successful trip. Fun deal. I probably won't do that a whole lot, but wanted to do it. We did it, got it done, did it safely, and we are back in action. Do a little walk around real quick of the Phoenix. What's this big hole under here? Yeah, right. Huh? That big hole See in the, the fiberglass. See the fiberglass under here? Yeah. I did that up in New York. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Phoenix 920 Pro XP. Thought it had some numbers on it. Look at that around the back. Got the 250 Pro XS. I thought it had numbers on it. I guess it doesn't. Maybe the guy, maybe, maybe they fell off. Maybe it's not a 920 Pro XP. Who knows what it is? But she ran great out there today. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you subscribe to my channel, you probably know I don't upload any. There's no scheduled ep upload. So who knows when I'll do another one, but... Uh, I am scheduled to get another jet boat this winter, so I know I'll be doing some video work with that. Anyhow, we're at the end of 2020. I hope, uh, I hope 21 gets better for all of you, and we'll see you next time.